The radon vent system is common to all active cell depressurization approaches and consists of a specially designed fan that runs continuously. When it is connected to the subgrade via a simple system of PVC or ABS pipe, radon-laden soil gas will be drawn from the soil and exhausted to a safe location above the home. The system can either be routed through the interior of the home or up alongside of the home, provided the discharge is above the eave of the house and well away from building openings such that the discharge gases will not re-enter the structure. There should be positive drainage back to the subgrade so condensed moisture does not accumulate and disable the system. The fan and any portions of the discharge piping should not be routed through conditioned space of the home or under-occupied space. Consequently, fans can be located in the attic, garage, or outdoors. They should not be located inside the home, in a crawl space, or in garages with living spaces above them. The fan should be connected to the radon vent pipe with flexible connectors both above and below the fan. It is also very important that the fan be installed vertically to prevent accumulation of water in the housing. As far as the piping, it can be either Schedule 40 PVC or ABS plastic. Sheet metal or flux duct should not be used. All fittings should be primed and glued and the pipe well supported. For aesthetic purposes, commercial grade downspout can also be used for portions of the system that are outdoors, but do not use downspout indoors. Regardless of the type of piping used, the discharge should be routed up to a point above the eave and at least 10 feet away from any building opening that is less than 2 feet below the discharge. It is also recommended that a screen with openings no smaller than a half inch be used to prevent birds and squirrels from entering down the discharge. Also, if you decide to route the pipe up through the interior of the home, you will need to flash around the pipe to avoid roof leakage. Also, if you run the pipe through a firewall or fire ceiling, it is important that a fire collar be placed around the pipe to maintain the fire rating of the wall. Although you will test your home to verify the success of your system, you should also install a performance indicator that can tell you in the future if the system should fail. This could be a simple manometer that measures maintained vacuum in the system, or if you use a low voltage fan system, it will be a meter that easily indicates that the system should fail, which is very rare. As a finishing touch, you should also label the system at all points it can be seen. This helps future owners of your home understand they have a valuable system operating in their home.